You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day. We have a very focused show. We only chat about items that affect the roof over your head, your bank account, and anything I feel would benefit you. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance-related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990-800-306-1990. And yes, of course, we are celebrating today. We celebrate every day on Ron Siegel Radio. National Logistics Day, Paul Bunyan Day, Insurance Awareness wow, Who do you think invented this one? Insurance Awareness Day? Not a whole lot of excitement there. Can we go back to yesterday when we were celebrating ice cream cake, please? Those of you that are in some of these warmer climates, yeah, I know there's I know who you are. There's some really, really warm ones out there right now. It's uh, it's getting to people. Pretty, uh, pretty amazing looking at some of the temperatures around. Yeah, if you're up in uh, the Pacific Northwest, they haven't realized it's not raining today. It's, it's going to be hot up there. And uh, here, you know, it's going to be warm this week. Although, as we get ready for the 4th of July celebrations, and yes, I am participating in several of them in the Anaheim Hills area. Uh, 4th of July should be nice and comfortable. We've had some pretty tough times of 4th. But this year should be should be pretty nice. Uh, we'll be looking to enjoy ourselves at at some of these Fourth of July celebrations. Yeah, we're going to be uh, out there in Anaheim Hills Parade and uh, the fireworks show. And then, hey, don't miss it! Concerts in the Canyon. Ron Siegel Radio is going to be sponsoring concerts in the Canyon every Wednesday night during the month of July. Come by, say hello. We may even have some free gifts for people out there during the Fourth of July. Yeah, we'll continue uh, watching. Let's see what else is going on in the world. The Dow Jones Industrial Average now down 180 points. Uh, the, uh, oh! Not exciting there. S&P 500 up 91. NASDAQ is up 104 points. Oil down 95 cents a barrel. Do you want to know? Should I look? Do I want to make? It's a Monday morning, so maybe we'll just take a look at that. Take a peek and see what gas prices are doing. Yes, elections have consequences. Of course, then again, well, I won't even go there. And did you see President Trump on uh, his, uh, former President Trump, out there doing a rally last week? It was pretty interesting seeing uh, hear, or hearing some of his commentary. Mississippi, though, they lead the country. $2.73.5 per gallon of gasoline. Can't get anywhere close to that in Calizuela. $2.77, $2.78. In Texas, Hawaii, three ninety nine point seven. Call it four dollars. Three o nine point nine. Three ten is the national average. And in the oil producing state of California, yeah, we do produce oil here. I love listening to some of these talking heads. Well, the reason gasoline is up to four dollars and twenty eight cents a gallon. Four twenty eight a gallon. Yeah, it's because we've got the California blend. Does anybody really believe that other than some of these talking heads on, on the news stations? Couldn't believe that. I heard that this morning on, on uh, one of the news stations early this morning. And I know the guy, that the, the fill-in anchor today, he's a partisan. And, you know, you, you really have to take anything he says with a grain of salt. So you, you begin to wonder, and I shouldn't say this about him, like I, but I will. 
right? So I wonder, being that that more often than not, he's a part. He's always a partisan. So can you trust anything he has to say? Now, I don't know whether he writes it or just says it, but it's real relevant to me. He's the one saying it, so I'm attributing the words to, to something that he agrees with, right? $4.28. Oh, it's because it's a summer blend. Really? <laughs> You know better than that. Yeah, I was a little a little late on that one, guys. Uh, so I got I pushed the button, and, and it takes uh, quite a while for the Stooges to wake up. All right, so uh, four twenty eight a gallon right here in California. I wonder if it was uh, if, you know right now. I'm recording this. It's June twenty eighth. I wonder if there was a June twenty eighth last year. Okay, I, I I'm just curious about that. Maybe this. Anchor talking head will will can answer that for us, and I wonder if on June twenty eighth last year, when gasoline in California was three oh seven a gallon, a dollar ten cheaper than it is today. I wonder if we were going into the summer blend then too. Now, if I remember correctly, and I may not, but I think we also had a refinery fire at that time. So three oh seven. Now we're at four twenty eight. Right, and it, he says, "Oh, it's because it's a summer blend." No, that has nothing to do with a summer blend. It's because we're going energy dependent again, right? Energy dependent. We were energy independent. Now we're going energy dependent, right? Because the president decided, well, we're going to stop the Keystone Pipeline. We're going to stop leases on government land. We're going to stop exploring for oil, so that we can start buying more of it from places that don't like us. Well, and maybe we don't like them either because the president over the weekend authorized military airstrikes. Does that surprise anybody that President Biden would authorize military use? And you got to wonder sometimes, right? The, the, the Democrats seem to like putting out doing these things. But anyway, I don't. U.S. military has conducted defen defensive precision airstrikes against three facilities near the Iraq-Syria border. That was Sunday morning. According to the Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby, the facilities are used by several Iran-backed militia groups engaged in unmanned aerial vehicle attacks against U.S. personnel and facilities. If they're Well, if they're unmanned, that pretty makes it pretty simple. Bomb them, get rid of them, and then we don't have to worry about them for our facilities. We won't have our young men and women being attacked by these characters. Uh, moving right along, let's see what else is going on in the news. Uh, yes, we are. We did see it. I, I shared this on our socials. Can't believe this going on, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. So we get people that are want to represent the United States in the Olympics and turning their back on the national anthem, on the American flag. Why would we have this person representing the United States? Right? I don't get that. Can somebody help me understand? I mean, and why would she even want to? Oh, oh, wait, because probably because it'll make her money. And she really doesn't care about any of the rest of the activism things. It's just about her, her own ego, her making her own money. Unbelievable watching some of these things go on. But I just can't imagine. J Gwen Berry. Now, I, I'm a patriot. I enjoy watching and rooting for America. Right, but you know something like this one, I, I've got to say that this is one that that I will will absolutely be rooting against Gwen Berry, no matter who she's running against. It could be Russia, it could be China. At least we know with them that that they hate us, right? Gwen Berry is a fake, right? She goes out there, puts on the uniform of the U.S., and then goes and says, "Well, I I don't I don't believe in the United States." Hard to imagine this, but hey, it is what it is. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, we've got a better outcome segment for you. We're going to do a little workshop, strategies for a sustainable income in retirement. And uh, let's see, selling with a real estate agent, could it save you time and effort? We'll talk about all that and more. You can reach me anytime, our off-air number, 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. 
Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Building your future wealth starts now. Take action and put your money to work for you instead of working for your money. Are you sitting on $100,000 of home equity? Realty Pro 100 has your solution. Realty Pro 100 Wealth Builder Program may increase your net worth by $50,000 to $75,000 or more per year. Learn more about the Realty Pro 100 Wealth Builder Program by texting My Wealth Builder to 79564. Text My Wealth Builder to 79564. License DRE 02059058. Blue Water Credit Repair is the industry leader in fixing bad credit. Did you know a 40-point increase in your credit score can save you $40,000 on a home loan and $4,000 on a car loan? You deserve good credit and peace of mind. Take the first step today and go to bluewatercredit.com and register for a free consultation from one of their credit repair experts. That's bluewatercredit.com. Are you paying rent because you cannot afford to live in your dream home? Are you paying rent because you don't believe you have the down payment funds to purchase your own home? At Siegel Lending Team at RonIsMyLender.com has up to $25,000 to help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. Contact the Siegel Lending Team today at RonIsMyLender.com. Again, RonIsMyLender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037. RonIsMyLender.com. Homeowners over the age of 62 are taking back financial control after retirement with reverse mortgages, and the Siegel Lending Team is here to help you use it to your advantage. Call Ron Siegel with Geneva Financial to receive your free information booklet with no obligation. The booklet answers all your questions, and the best part is you still own your home. Call Ron Siegel at 1-800-306-1990 or visit ronsiegelradio.com. Are you a military veteran, first responder, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, then you're a Ron Siegel VIP hero and you may qualify for rewards up to five to $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with a Ron Siegel Radio partner. As a valued VIP hero, you receive special savings, rebates, and valuable discounts. Learn more by calling me, Ron Siegel, at 1-800-306-1990 or visit VIPheroprogram.com. It's just our way of saying thank you. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions, as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. So every once in a while, we like to do a little bit of a workshop with you, and we share these for you for your benefit. We give them the we get the information. I am a speaker on the national circuit for an or a nonprofit organization, the Society for Financial Awareness, and the whole goal of the organization is to and I should should throw it out there. The organization is a five hundred one c three. The mission of ending financial liter illiteracy across America, one community at a time. So today we're going to talk about getting financially, fiscally fit. And obviously, we always like to appreciate what you are doing. Uh, the organization, again, does not offer to sell financial products, no, nor promote any product of one over another. Uh, again, nonprofit, 501c3, been around since 1993. Let's get into the material right now. Successful retirement equals preparation. And that's a that's a key point to all of this right now. And everything we talk about, we, we consistently are chatting about preparation and a game plan, right? If that's one of the keys to having success in finances is understanding a game plan. So whether you have a lot of money or just a little, a true measure of your financial success is the ability to meet your goals, 
Imagine your financial goal as a destination you could travel to by car. To reach it, you need to make efficient use of your money as you prepare for the journey, and you need to set aside certain resources for use along the way. You get a tune-up, check the tires, pack some food, etc., and you'll also figure out how much money you'll need for gas and tolls during the trip, all before you leave the driveway. Achieving your financial goals should work much the same way because attaining them depends on thoughtful preparation. Properly developed goals can be incredibly motivating, and as you get into the habit of setting and achieving them, you'll probably find that your self-confidence has increased as well. By constructing a strong goal development routine, you can measure and take pride in the achievement of the goals you've set, in turn, helping to ensure future financial success. What are we preparing for? Longevity, higher prices, rising medical and long-term care costs, possible changes in Social Security, investment risk. A number of factors contribute to increased longevity, including safer and more nutritious food, improvements in health care, safer motor vehicles, cleaner water, improved waste removal, and an overall higher standard of living. <clears throat> Let's see what else. We, uh, my computer's a little slow right here. Maybe it's me that's slow. It's Monday. So increases in U.S. life expectancy. According to data compiled, a man reaching age 65 today can expect to live on average age 84. A woman reaching 65 today can expect to live on average age 86 and a half. You better be ready. So if you're looking to retire at age 65, you're talking about nearly 20 years in retirement. Probabilities after the age of 65, 83, you got a 56% chance, 56 chance of getting there. Uh, age 89, if, you're, if you are, uh, age 89 is 31% and age 94, 14%. Are you ready for all that? Are you ready to... And, and, and these are ages that you can live to and enjoy life. To calculate something will cost if it increases by a value by a value... 3% annually for 20 years, multiply times 1.81. For 30 years, you got to multiply times 2.43. So if, think about that. So if you're paying $4 for a gallon of gasoline, 20 years from now, you better figure that it's going to probably be about close to $8 a gallon. All right? Think about that. I don't know what the cost of milk is or things like that. I just end up, well, I shouldn't say that. Medical and long-term care costs. The average cost of long-term care, $24.45 per hour for homemaker services, $22 per hour for home health care, $67 per day for services in adult day health care center, $32.93 per month for care in an assisted living facility. That's a one-bedroom unit. $62.35 per month for a semi-private room, $69.65 for a private room in a nursing home from 2018 to 2021. Healthcare spending is projected to grow at an annual rate, 6.2%. This is all from longtermcare.gov. And again, if you're, watch, if you're, if you're, if you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, wonderful. You're actually seeing the workshop slides as they go by. If you're watching us on the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, well, you're seeing it as well. But if you're not, you can always go to ronsegalradio.com, check our workshop button, or you can go and look at the radio archives, and you'll see all of our prior shows. There's probably about 2,000 shows in there right now. Possible changes in Social Security. Social Security or Old Age Survivors and Disability Insurance, OASDI, makes monthly income available to U.S. workers and their families at retirement, death, or disability. The Social Security Act established a board of trustees to oversee the OASI, Old Age and Survivors Insurance, and the DI, Disability Insurance Trust Fund Reserves. According to the Board of Trustees, the combined OASI and DI Trust Fund Reserves will increase through 2020, start to decrease this year, and will be depleted and unable to pay full benefits on a timely basis in 2033. Now, think about that. That's coming from the OASI and the DI Trust Funds, or the Board of Trustees. Congress will have to make some changes because seniors vote. Income tax rates, we're showing those there. If you purchase an annuity with after-tax dollars, a portion of income you receive once the contract has been annuitized or converted to an annuity income payouts will be a non-taxable return of your investment until all the principal has been received. Or 
If you purchase an annuity with pre-tax dollars, all the income you receive is taxable. For the deferred annuities, the power of tax deferral allows your money to grow faster because any earnings will be compound without current income tax. Whether you purchase your annuity with after-tax qualified pre-tax funds, you have the benefit of defer of, of tax deferred compounding. The lifetime income payout option. This feature helps alleviate the fear that you'll outlive your income. It's an important benefit that only annuities provide. Guaranteed Beth ben benefit. If you defy, died before you're, you begin to receive lifetime income or any other annuity payout option, your beneficiaries will typically receive at least the amount you originally invested minus an adjustment for any withdrawals. Death benefit payouts will be subject to ordinary income tax. Now, I'm not giving tax advice. Some of these things change, so just be careful of that. Optional living benefit riders available through variable annuities. Optional living benefits include principal protection, withdraw, and income benefits for an additional charge. These optional features have greatly increased the flexibility and appeal of variable annuities as an investment for retirement planning. The value of variable investment options will fluctuate and when redeemed, may be worth more or less than the original cost. Annuity withdrawals and other distributions of taxable amounts, including death benefit payouts, may be subject to ordinary income tax for non-qualified contracts. An additional 3.8% tax may apply on net investment income. If withdrawals and other distributions are taken prior to age 59 and a half, an additional 10% federal tax may apply. A withdrawal charge may also apply. Withdrawals may reduce the value of death benefit and any optional benefits. Now remember, this discussion of annuities, I, I see one character on TV always saying that they'll never ever sell an annuity. Well, that means that's a person you never ever ever want to talk to because there is a benefit to every investment vehicle. Are they all right for you? I don't know because I don't know your situation. But every, every investment item, every tool has some sort of benefits. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been created. So if, you don't, if you're going to say, I'm not going to ever do that, basically what you're saying is, I'm not going to look at what's in the client's best interest, what's in the family's best interest, because there may be options where that's required and that's the best tool out there. I'm just throwing that out there. Investments, risks, and interest rates, stock market in general should be considered Long-term investments, buying bonds, interest rates affect bond prices. Inflation affects bond prices as well. Investment risks and interest rates, some more. The stock market, you can't be too aggressive or too conservative. You'll need a balanced approach to generate income in retirement. And you have to be careful because the inflation, which we're looking at right now, and it's probably going to get bigger and bigger, that does erode your buying power. So we want to make sure that you've got some investments that are safe and secure and some that are going to be the ones that are going to grow to protect your buying power. Bonds and interest rates. Interest rates have an inverse effect on income. When bond prices are high, income from interest rates are down. When bond prices are low, interest from interest rates are up. Mathematic function. We've talked about that before on Ron Siegel Radio. Strategies for sustainable retirement income. Well, first you have to know what you got. Identifying your sources of income, choosing the best withdrawal rate, managing risk, addressing specific risks. A Roth IRA as a tax strategy. Are you using it? Are your, is your household board of directors even discussing that with you? So early in retirement, you may still want to be working part or full time. You may have some pension income. You might have some Social Security income. Don't just make an assumption when you want to start taking your Social Security the later you take it, the larger your Social Security benefit will be, but you have to weigh that out with life expectancy. Later in retirement, IRA withdrawals, real estate, 401k withdrawals, those are all things that are coming down the road. And if you're watching again, well, I'm going to give you a word's eye view of choosing the best withdrawal rate. Your withdrawal rate will determine how long your money will last. 3% is going to give you about 50 years. 4% is going to give you 36 years, 21 years is at 5%. If you take a 10% of your money out, it's going to last 10 years. It's pretty obvious. So just think about that. Now, those numbers just apply to whatever you're doing. So the, the obviously, the less you take out, 
the longer the money is going to last. So you may want to look at a bucket approach. What the heck is that? Short-term income bucket. This is the me your immediate cash flow needs, emergency fund, et cetera. That's going to be cash, CDs, money markets, short-term bonds, immediate annuities, Social Security, pension income, or wages. You've got a mid-term bucket. This is a mix of growth and income replenishment short to replenish the short term. Guard against market volatility here, right? So the first bucket is basically that's the stuff money you're going to need really pretty soon. And you don't want to get involved in where it's, you know, like last year, if you had to take money out of the market in, in March, you would have been pretty painful. But if you had that 12 or 24 month uh, time horizon, wouldn't have bothered you as much. But the midterm bucket, that's bonds, deferred annuities, absolute return funds, asset allocation funds, balanced funds. You get the long-term bucket. This is your inflation hedge. This is for longevity. These are your growth stocks and funds, real estate, commodities. Those are all going right in there. So to close that out, a successful strategy will give you sustainable income to retire in the lifestyle you desire. It's essential to prepare for certain and uncertain risks. Retirement strategies will continue to evolve all the time. Give you a little quote here. Whether you are just entering the workforce or nearing retirement age, planning for the future is critical. And that comes from Ron Lewis, retired House of Representatives. Hope that is beneficial for you. If you've got any questions, give me a call, 800-306-1990. Again, the products that we just talked about, I don't sell any of them. I educate on them. Yes, I did sell them at one time, so I do understand them. But you can give me a call at any time at 800-306-1990. You can also reach me, Ron, at ronsegalradio.com, or you can go to our website, ronsegalradio.com. Questions at Ron Siegel Radio. So all of that is just some, some information for you. We'd like to give you great content here on Ron Siegel Radio, and you can reach us anytime off air, number 800-306-1990. When we come back, Got a better outcome section, save time and effort by selling with an agent. And oh, yes, we do have that featured home brought to you by my favorite lender.net. All that and more. You can reach me anytime off air number 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990, or ronsegalradio.com, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel One on YouTube, Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. What's your plan to beat inflation and protect and build your future wealth? If you're not sure, and if you would like to learn the secret of building wealth by utilizing your current assets with little or no risk, Realty Pro 100 has your solution. Realty Pro 100 Wealth Builder Program may increase your net worth by $50,000 to $75,000 or more per year. Learn more about the Realty Pro 100 Wealth Builder Program by texting My Wealth Builder to 79564. Text My Wealth Builder to 79564. License DRE 02059058. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you can potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsegalradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Do you own a luxury home or planning to purchase one? If so, your home may be your largest asset, but your mortgage may also be your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team is offering amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates in the 3%, and 15-year rates in the 2s. Learn more at ronsegalradio.com or call me directly. My number is 800 306-1990, license center NMLS 217037, 
Equal housing lender. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 018-69452. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 800-306-19. 1990, the Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Dow Jones now down 208 points. The S&P 500 down 152. The NASDAQ is up 111 points. That's a nice one to see right there if you're invested in the S&P 500. The 10-year Treasury down six basis points. That's a big move for that 10-year Treasury. Mortgage-backed securities, those are up 20 basis points. That is good news for home interest rates. Remember, when the mortgage-backed securities go up, that means interest rates go down. And when you see a 20 basis point move, especially when we, we saw where we opened up the market. The market opened and it wasn't that, that uh, big a change that early. So with that big number that's moved or that move, uh, they probably see some interest rate benefits that have come out through throughout the morning already. Why is all of this happening? That's the real reason that we get to in the mortgage minute. So there have been reports of some inventory coming back to the market. That's real estate inventory. Still very tight, though. Many realtors are approaching homes with a buyer in hand, trying to entice them to sell. Typically, someone lists their home before they find another one to purchase, which is part of the reason we could see month-over-month inventory gains, finally. But finding another home for those sellers is another story. Inventory levels are still down 20 to 30% year-over-year, year, depending upon which report You look at last week, Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren, who is not a voting member, was the first from the Fed to express his concerns about the housing market. He's worried about the froth in the markets, and he's not surprised by the high asset valuations because it's tied to easy Fed policy. Not ready to predict a housing bubble, but he thinks the rapid price gains deserve attention. He believes that the Fed needs to think about the side effects of the easy money policy. Got a lot going on this week. Uh, We've got a jobs report coming out. We've got both the BLS and the ADP jobs report, both looking at about 600,000 jobs created. Hmm, But there's 9 million openings. I wonder why those other people are not going to work. Unemployment rate is forecasted to drop from 5.8 to 5.7. We'll see about what's going on there. We've got pending home sales is coming out on Wednesday. We've got the Case Schiller and the FHA appreciation reports, those are coming out on Tuesday. Now, remember, all we care about is what's the FHFA is a more important one, especially right now, because we're, they're dealing, the others are dealing with median prices, and median prices are giving us some bad data right now. So let's uh, just be careful of what you're watching for right there. That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at. Geneva Financial. Hey, you know, let's talk about for one second, being that I just uh, brought up our friends at Geneva Financial. And the great team that ha- handles uh, the listeners for Ron Siegel Radio at Geneva Financial. 
you know, one of the programs that's out there, it's back again, is something that we used to call stated income loans, stated income loans. And they're not quite the same as what they used to be, but the stated income loan um, it is, a, is an interesting scenario. So what is a stated income loan? Basically, in the next, in, in, uh, uh, in historically, the stated income loan, you just said, hey, I earned $25,000 a month. And everybody said, oh, okay, good. And you go out and you buy a million dollar house and, and then you can't pay for it, but you're hoping to be able to sell it before that before anybody caught up with you. Doesn't quite work that way anymore. So how are they going with stated income loans? And these are for self-employed individuals. And there are programs that are out there. What they basically look at is they say, okay, we understand that self-employed individuals, they don't take as big a salary as they might otherwise be entitled to because the government allows certain write-offs for business owners. So you got to bring those dollars back in. You look at it and you reconcile. What is it that is probably business related? What might not be business related? How does this all work? So the way these loans in many instances are working right now is they look at bank statements. There are programs for self-employed borrowers that'll look at three months bank statements, 12 months bank statements, 24 months bank statements. The more they look at, the cheaper the interest rates. But the whole concept is, is they're looking at the bank statement. They say, okay, well, you deposited $25,000 this month. And yeah, there's probably a good chance that at least half of that might be your income. Because you might be writing off, you might be saying, okay, my car is, is a business expense or my travel is a business expense. Or, I mean, I had a doctor one time, a, a, a medical doctor, and he was writing off $20,000 a month is what it worked out to in travel expenses. Well, do you think he had to go to all those seminars or could he have gone somewhere else? Well, the issue was, is we just looked at it. And we said, okay, we understand what's going on here. It is a legitimate business expense, but maybe it's not something that everyone's going to be doing. Kind of like what they're doing. Well, I shouldn't say that. They're doing with the with President Trump, but I'm not going to go there. But here's the issue. These programs are out there. So you say, okay, well, $25,000. Then they say, okay, now if, you, if you're able to document or if a CPA will write a letter saying, hey, Mr. Smith's business really operates with about a 25% overhead factor. Okay, well, they might say, okay, now 75% of the expenses of the, of the income might be able to be used as your income. So on a $20,000 deposits, then maybe 15000 is considered income for you. Then you put that into your debt-to-income ratio and see how does that all flow and what can you qualify for from that point on. So it's basically the idea there is stated income is it's not coming from your tax return. It's coming from somewhere else that can, can be justified in some way. Because the bottom line, in lenders want to lend. Their business is to lend. What do they want in return? They want to know how are they going to get their money back and they want to get interest. So they want both of those. Are they going to get their money back? Are they going to have to, is it going to be a difficult time? Are they going to, is it going to cause headaches? So that's the focus there. If they can justify that loan, well, you got a loan. You're going to be able to get your new house. You're going to be able to maybe refinance. Maybe you're going to be able to get rid of some of that credit card debt. Yes, these are a little bit more expensive. You're not going to get that two and a half, three percent loan. But if you're getting a house and the house is appreciating and it's normal 5.32 percent for Orange County, California, maybe you're still better off in the long run. So just some thoughts for you. You're listening to Ron Segal Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, we got a featured home brought to you by my favorite lender.net. Save time and effort by selling with an agent. And we might get to our better outcome segment. All that and more. You can reach me anytime. Off air number 800 306 1990. 800 306 1990 or Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel one on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. 
this program, building personal wealth is a topic you're familiar with, and you probably understand that making money is about creating a high income from a high paying job or running a business, while building wealth, on the other hand, is about creating a stock of value that goes up over time. You've also probably noticed lately that prices for fuel, groceries, and raw materials are skyrocketing, while your monthly income remains flat. Welcome to Inflation 101. One of the fastest growing wealth building strategies is utilizing your current assets with little or no risk, like the equity in your home. Realty Pro 100 has been helping people like you increase their net worth by $50,000 to $75,000 per year. Now's the time to put your money to work for you and beat inflation. Learn more and start building your wealth by contacting Realty Pro 100. Text My Wealth Builder to 79564. Text My Wealth Builder to 79564. Receive free information on how the Realty Pro 100 Wealth Builder program works and if it's the right wealth building strategy for you. License DRE 02059058. Hey friends, do you dream of mortgage-free home ownership? Are you aware that even if you own your home free and clear, it could still be costing you thousands per year? The Siegel Lending Team can help you generate tax-free income, accumulate family wealth, and maintain ownership of your home. By simply emailing your most recent mortgage statement, you'll receive a no-obligation real estate plan. Learn more by calling 1-800-306-1990 or email me your recent mortgage statement to PEAR at ronsegalradio.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lend. Are you tired of paying rent? Are you tired of paying someone else's mortgage? Do you know qualified folks can potentially purchase a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket? Ron Siegel can help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. If you're tired of paying someone else's mortgage, reach out to Ron today at ronismylender.com. That's ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsegalradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, the featured home segment today, being brought to you by my favorite lender.net, my favorite lender.net, 4591 Avenida de las Estrellas, your Belinda. I said that right. Mike Lavalli, Lavalli, Mr. Yorba, he's got this property, Keller Williams, Mike Lavalli. I don't know how Mike pronounced his last name. I'll have to ask him one of these days. So remodeled kitchen, granite counters, new appliances, beach access, pool and spa with water slide, kitchen cabinets or wood with soft closing hardware. The entry hall shows an expansive spiral staircase with custom chandelier. One bedroom downstairs, great for a home office. All plumbing replaced within, with top of the line copper piping. Ceiling fans installed. Windows are dual pane for energy saving. Backyard barbecue with refrigerator. Storage shed, solar system to heat the pool. Wow. Three car garage, gated RV access room for a 50 foot RV. Ooh, that must be a big backyard area right there. Holy cow. $1,200,000 is the price of this property. Let's look at some financing options. 
10% down, you're looking at $49.25 a month. 20% down, you're looking at $43.78 a month. 25% down, strategically speaking, you're looking at $37.34 a month. That's principal and interest. Got to add if there are any mortgage insurance, HOA insurance, taxes, and in, in, uh, property taxes. No, no HOA on this one. Hey, for those of you keeping score, and I know those compliance people are, 3.845 APR, 3.668 APR, and 3.076 APR, NMLS 217037. Again, if you want more information on this property, we'll put you in touch with Mike at Keller Williams. It's 4591 Avenida de las Estrellas. Your Belinda, again, four bedrooms, three full bathrooms. And if you want the information, look at the pictures of this, some really nice looking pictures of this property that are on the internet and on the sheet that we're sharing. So Mike has this. If, again, if you want to chat with him, give me a call at 800-306-1990. Happy to put you in touch. That is the Featured Home segment brought to you by MyFavoriteLender.net. And let's take a look. The Real-Time Real Estate segment today brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text SLT Home Digest to 79564. Find your dream home before someone else does. Same time, save time and effort by selling with a real estate agent. Yes, I have a license. No, I do not sell real estate. Had my license several years and never, ever wrote a, a real estate contract for anybody else. Selling a house is a time-consuming process, especially if you decide to do it on your own. This is known as a for sale by owner or FISBO. From conducting market research to reviewing legal documents, handling negotiations, and more, it's an involved and highly detailed process that requires a lot of expertise to navigate effectively. That's one of the reasons why the percentage of people selling their own house has declined from 19% to 8%. 19% to 8%. And again, we've got a graph of this for sale by owners as a percentage of all home sales. If you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, any of our socials, or ABC News and Talk, KMET 4, AM 1490 news feed, video feed, you're seeing how this percentage has dropped dramatically since 1981. And especially here in California, the other states have a need as well. California's got a lot of rules and regulations, and I don't want you to get stuck out there not having got those done. Could leave you as a seller standing out there pretty exposed. To help you understand just how much time and effort it takes to sell on your own, here's a look at a few things you need to think about before putting that for sale sign in the yard. Number one. Making a good first impression, while it may sound simple, there are a lot of proven best practices to consider when prepping a house for sale. Do you need to take down your personal art? What's the right amount of landscaping to boost your curb appeal? What wall colors are most appealing to buyers? If you do this work on your own, you may invest capital and many hours into the wrong things. Your time is money. Don't waste it. An agent can help steer you in the right direction based on current market conditions to save you time and effort. Since we're in a hot seller's market, you don't want to delay listing your house by focusing on things that won't change your bottom line. These market conditions may not last, so lean on an agent to capitalize on today's low inventory while you can. Second, price it right. Real estate professionals have mission-critical information on what sells and how to perform your maximize your profit. They're experienced when it comes to looking at recent comparable homes that have sold in your area and understanding the pr what price is right for your neighborhood. They use that data to price your house appropriately, maximizing your return. In a for sale by owner, a FISBO, you're operating without this expertise. So you'll have to do your own homework on how to set a price that's appropriate for your area and the condition of your home, even with your own research you might not find the most up-to-date information and could risk setting a price that's inaccurate or unrealistic. If you price your house too high, you could turn buyers away before they're even in the front door or run into problems when it comes time for the appraisal. Maximizing your buyer pool, which is maximizing your profit. Contrary to popular belief, FISBOs may actually net less profit than sellers who use an agent. One of the factors that can drive up profit is effective exposure. 
Simply put, real estate professionals can get your house in front of more buyers via their social media followers, agency resources, and proven sales strategies. The more buyers that view a home, the more likely a bidding war becomes. According to the National Association of Realtors, the average house for sale gets five offers. Using an agent to boost your exposure may help boost your sale price too. Navigating negotiations. When it comes to selling your house as a FISBO, you'll have to handle all the negotiations. Here are a few of the people you'll work with. The buyer who wants the best deal possible. The buyer's agent who will use their expertise to advocate for the buyer. The inspection company, which works for the buyer and will always, almost always, find concerns with the house. The appraiser who assesses the property's value to protect the lender. As part of their training, agents are taught how to negotiate every aspect of the real estate transaction, how to me mediate potential snags that may pop up. When appraisals come in low and in countless other situations, they know what levers to pull, how to address the buyer and seller emotions that come with it, and when to ask for second opinions. Navigating all of this on your own takes time. A lot of it. Juggling legal documentation. Speaking of time, consider how much free time you have to review the fine print. Just in terms of documentation, more disclosures and regulations are now mandatory. That means the stack of legal documents you need to handle as a seller is growing. It can be hard to know and truly understand all the terms and requirements. Instead of going it alone, use an agent, your shield and advisor to help you avoid potential legal missteps. And as I've shared with you many, many times in the past, Team 53, we use a real estate agent and we price the property extremely aggressive. The whole idea there is you get price out of the issue. Now, you still control whether you're going to sell it or not. We'll, we explain that how that happens. But the idea here is you do all these things up front, and then you have a non-contingent sale. Non-contingent sale. Everything is done. Listing to check, 53 days. Now, you can stop it. You can go slower if you want to. I don't recommend it, but you could do that. That is the real-time real estate segment, again, brought to you by the Area Trusted Real Estate Professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text SLT Home Digest to 79564. Find your dream home before someone else does. I'm going to try and get this in, our better outcome segment, four phases of divorce mortgage planning. What is divorce mortgage planning? It's a holistic approach to the process of evaluating mortgage options in the context of the overall financial objectives as they rel relate to divorcing situations. Certified divorce lending professionals work directly with the professional divorce team, such as an attorney, financial advisor, mediator, etc., to help integrate the mortgage selected into the overall long and short-term financial and investment goals to help minimize taxes, minimize interest expense, and maximize cash flow. When mortgage financing is needed as part of the divorce settlement, Working with a certified divorce lending professional can make the process smoother and provide more successful outcomes for the divorcing homeowners. Understanding the various phases of divorce mortgage planning is key. There are four phases to the CDLP's model for divorce mortgage planning. First off, vetting the house, which entails an examination of ownership, property taxes, various valuation methods. There are many aspects to vetting the house, whether it's the property ownership, tax status, value, equity available. We need to take a deep dive into the details of the property because not only are these details important to the settlement process, the details of the real property itself may actually determine what type of mortgage financing is available or not available. And these details have nothing to do with credit scores and income sources. Number two, qualifying income. The CDLP will work with the divorcing clients and the divorce team to analyze the various income sources, which may consist of employment, support income, or no income, and how we can work together to create qualifying income through financial and tax planning when needed. This phase can become frustrating to the divorcing client when they have sufficient cash flow each month. However, not every source of the cash flow may be considered qualifying income. Number three. Consumer debt analysis can be yet another strategic move during the divorce process when mortgage planning will be necessary. The CDLP can help evaluate how the marital or individual debt is assigned in an effort to strategically position the divorcing spouses to be in a stronger position to obtain better mortgage financing terms. Number four, 
Home Equity Solutions. The mission of the CDLP and the Divorce Lending Association is to help divorcing homeowners make more informed decisions regarding their home equity and solutions. So if you want to get all of this put together for you, go to mydymworkbook.com, mydymworkbook.com, or text mydymworkbook to 79564. Fill out the form. We'll get you back a whole book put together with your specifics in there. And it is compliments of Ron Siegel Radio. And as always, I ask you, set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to Josh and Sean who are engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime at 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Segal Radio. Lights go out and I can be saved. Tides that I tried to swim again.